Hey, what's up, everybody? It's 123 Stealth Bomber here, uh, bringing you another tutorial on the Assault Squad editor. And today I'm going to show you how to do simple objectives. Um, I'm going to start off, this can be two parts to the video. Uh, this one is going to be on simple objectives, just really, really basic on how to set up and how to complete them. Uh, eventually, I'll post another video on advanced objectives on how to make them uh, lose, how to make add in different effects, all that other stuff. Um, so all we're going to do for today is just go from one thing to the next and really, really basic uh, objectives. I wanted to start from the beginning with these since, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a complicated topic. Not too bad, though. So, But anyways, we're going to start from the very beginning and our um, scenario for today is we uh, there's a small ger German occupation in this so-called well, I wouldn't say this village but like a little house near a lake surrounded by a lake and we have to kill the German officer that's our main goal okay um, so what we have to do is um, well first let's get started over here okay so I set up where it's a stealth mission and I control one sniper my ally controls the other sniper so, our, we, what we first have to do is, we're going to have two objectives. Our first objective is reaching this vantage point over here. Kind of like, it has like a nice hill. You can see, perfectly see the enemy from over here. So it's kind of like a perfect vantage point. Our first objective will be to reach this location. And then our second objective will be to reach um, and kill the officer. Okay, so, what we first want to do is, we're going to give um, our guy some tags. Now, in order to complete the objective, we're going to use a near condition. So, I'm going to give my guy a tag. Now, as, our, as you can see, I already did this. So, all you need to do is just give your character, the person who is going to complete the objective, who's going to reach this location, uh, give them the tag, okay? All you need is one tag. Now, when you've done that, we're going to then create a zone. So, go to zone, and a circle, uh, circle or poly will work. So, I'm going to use a poly, though, and vantage, vantage point. I'm going to call it vantage point. And I'm going to place it right around right here, and I'm just going to adjust the size to approximate size of the hill. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Uh, actually, you know what, let me just fix it a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Now, what we're going to do is go back to Entities, and we're going to place in a pointer. Okay? And yeah, I'm going to show you what this means in a second, but it's under Service, and then you go to Pointer. Uh, just pick the first one, just Pointer by itself. And then, um, when you place it, it's going to kind of like come with an arrow and like a circle. And all this is going to do is just indicate where the objective is. Uh, this is good for stationary objectives, kind of like something like this. We want to reach this location, and in case, say, you don't know where the vantage point is, it'll tell you where it is. So this is kind of like in the general area. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it where we want, and then we're going to give it a tag. So bring up the tags. Now, it already comes with a tag, if you're wondering. When you place it, it already comes with the pointer general tag. But we want another tag with it. Vantage. Yeah, we'll just call it Advantage for now. So all you need is one other tag. Okay? And when you're done with that, now we can go to our mission properties. I'm going to press F9. And obviously, it brings up your mission properties. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Tasks. You're going to expand this box and... I'm going to go over this really quickly. Mission tasks, also known as mission objectives. This is where all your objectives will be laid out. This is like the setup of how your objectives will be laid out. So, obviously, it's a big gray box, but if you right-click, it's going to add you tell you to add insert. So, let's give it a name. So, uh, reach, reach, reach hill. Let's just call it reach hill. Whatever you, it doesn't matter what you name it anyways, it's just uh, just for your preference. So, 
when you once you create it, a bunch of information will pop up, and we're gonna need most of these filled out. So let's we'll start off from the top. DESC is short for description. So if we're gonna expand this, and it's gonna open up to the text browser. Um, so what you're gonna do is this is where you're gonna name your objective. So you're gonna hit add at the bottom left and just call it whatever you want. So objective objective one we'll just call it objective one and then whatever you type in this box is going to be the objective when it pops up so reach the vantage point okay so when you when the objective pops up on the game when you're playing it says new mission objective it'll say exactly this reach the vantage point so when you're done typing it in you press enter and press the button save and then press the button OK when you're done. Now, for primary, you want to check this off, me meaning, is it a primary objective or is it a secondary objective? Now, to make it a secondary objective, you just keep this blank. You don't check it off. To, to make it primary, you got to check it off. And yes, let's say we have to make this primary, OK, in order to complete the mission. Now, the state, you want to keep this on hidden. If you keep this on completed or failed, well, then obviously when you start when you start the mission, it's going to already complete it or fail it. So you obviously want to keep it on hidden so it's completely um, hidden from our view. Now the point. The point is exactly right here. Remember this? The pointer that we just placed? We're going to type in the tag that we gave, gave it. So I believe it was just Vantage. Um, but I am all going to go back for just two seconds. I'm just going to look at it. It is, yes, it's Vantage, okay. So you're going to type in that tag that you gave it. So Vantage. Now if you give it the tag of the one it gave it already, so remember the pointer it was called, um, that's a generic tag and it will do it to every single pointer that you place. So you don't want to do that. You want to place, you want to make sure you give it a tag. That's the reason why I told you to give it a tag. Now team, don't worry about it, you're all set. Um, it's not related to our video so you can hit OK after this and then get out of that now when you're done well now we're gonna go to um, our triggers no, wait, hold on a little lag um, so we're gonna go to our objectives and pretty much now we're gonna go to triggers and we're gonna make a new trigger so objectives objectives hill I don't know something like that seems pretty good enough now we have to think about it logically in order to um, well actually I actually made a mistake right there um, we need two triggers so we'll go ahead and we'll make hill we can keep the one we have we just need to add in another one so hill and then hill start okay so we need two so let's start off with the hill start meaning I call it the hill star is because we need to make the objective pop up, right? The hill one I call it, the one I just called hill, that's how to complete it. So we want it to just pop up in general. So hill start, um, what you want to do is you just want to go to commands. You don't need any conditions. You want to go to commands and go to scene and then scroll down until you see task. You're going to double click on that and the name. You're going to pick the objective name that you saw in the mission tasks under the mission properties. You're going to select that one that you need. Whoops. And then for the state, you want to show, uh, put as show, meaning it will sh put the objective up. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to complete this objective. So now we have to think about it logically. We want to, when we, com when we reach this spot, it completes the objective. So we need a condition. And that will be a near condition. So we're going to open up the near condition. And first of all, we're going to go to units, expand it, and the tag. Um, the tag, remember remember how I gave that tag to the infantry, to my sniper? That's who the, in order to complete the objective, my sniper has to reach this point. So you're going to give the tag of the person who you want to reach this specific spot. So you do that. Now, for the near two, you want to expand that and this will be the zone that we just made so obviously uh, vantage point and there you go you can hit okay now for high distance and high precision you can just keep this you could keep that blank um, if, if you want to that is so you can hit okay after that 
And all you need to do is we're going to add in a slight delay. Um, so, like, as soon as you reach it, it's not going to complete it right away, but let's just put, like, one second. And then we're going to add in one more, and then we're going to go back to scene and give it another task. And this time, you're going to pick the name, the same name, again, but the state will be complete. Okay, now, now we know. Let's, uh, let's test this out to see how it works. Okay, so if you noticed, the points are popped up and it'll say new mission objective. Reach the vantage point. Okay, now it's a, uh, in game, you can watch your, um, see your objectives at any time by pressing the O button. The O key, I'm sorry. And then when it does that, it'll say primary. If there is any secondaries, it'll pop, usually pop it up like where my mouse is. Um, but see, you can see reach the vantage point. It doesn't say complete or anything because we haven't completed it yet. And you'll see a little binocular symbol. Well, if I click on that, it's going to bring me to exactly where that point was. See, it pops it up. It pops it up on the map. Plus, it brings me to the exact location. So this is good for in case it's like... The reason why I asked you to put in a, a good pointer is... So in case if you're making an objective and you don't know where it is, the player doesn't know where the objective is, they can bring it up, click on it. It's like, oh, okay that's where the vantage point is because you know a vantage point could be over here too that could be a vantage point but you know you specified right right there so it's like okay i have to go over here now so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just tell my guy to run to this location and we'll wait for that now while my guy's reaching that you'll notice as i'm not on the exact same screen you'll notice the red arrow pops up in that direction telling me where the pointer is in that general area um, since it's off screen I can't actually physically see it so telling me that it's in this area and then it's gone and then that means it pops up and there you go a mission objective completed reached the vantage point we have reached this area we have passed uh, went through into the zone and we complete the objective okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish we're going to do another objective, and we're going to add in to kill the officer. Okay, so now what we got to do is, let's go back to F3. And what we're going to do is to start off, we're going to give the officer a tag. Because now, we want to kill him, right? So we got to give him a tag to specify. So you're gonna, I'm going to select the officer, and I'm just going to call him officer. Um... And then hit OK after that. Now, also, what we're going to do is we're going to place a pointer on him as well. So in case if you don't know where the officer is, we can, we're can we just going to give him like a general spot so the player knows. Uh, now, you don't need to add in the pointer, but it's best to do this so other players can know. Because remember, you're creating it, so you know where everything is. But if another player is playing it, they need to know where it is at all times. So, um, again, we're going to give this... Uh, uh, a tag as well and let's call it kill officer okay I'm gonna hit okay now for this instance we don't we do not need a zone because we're not reaching a location we're just stating that we need to kill the officer so we don't need any any uh, zones whatsoever however we do need to go to F9 mode back we do need to go back to F9 mode and do another task so expand it again and let's create another um, task so let's add again uh, and we'll call this one kill officer now again um, we'll start off with the description so we'll expand this box hit add and we'll call it give it a name we'll give it objective 2 and I'm just gonna say this is what's gonna pop up in the in the game so I'm just gonna say kill the German officer. Okay. So once you're done typing what you need to do, press enter, then press go to where it says save, and then press OK. Yes, we do want to make this a primary objective. So I'm gonna check this off. Um and yes, this uh, the state needs to be hidden as well. Um so just, yeah, make sure you have it on hidden. Because, again, if we have it on complete or fail, then as soon as you get the objective, it's going to fail it for you. So you don't want to do that. Now, we're going to give it the tag of the pointer. And I forgot again, so I need to 
go back to it and select it and just look at the tag really quickly. Okay, so it was kill officer. Okay, again, we do not need any team, so that does not apply to us, so we can just, we're all set after that. Okay, now what we can do is we can head over to our triggers. I'm going to add in another one. Now, again, just like uh, what I did when I added in two, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add in two again. So, officer, I'm going to call one officer, and then I'm going to call one officer start. Okay, so now what we need to do is we want to make this objective pop up once we reach the hill. So, what's going to happen is what we're going to do is we're going to need an event. So what you're going to do is go back to your objective that you want to complete first. So in my case, it's the hill. We Once we complete this objective, we're going to add in a new command. So, And what our new command is going to be is an event. You're going to click on event. Now, I never went through events too much. I've used them before in my past videos, but just bear with me uh, for now. So for the event you're going to expand the box and then you're just going to right click in the empty space add an insert and just make it a new name uh officer well, actually whoops uh, ah. objective to start i'm just trying to like make them drawn out to make them as easily noticeable for you guys to understand so it makes it very easy so objective to start that's what we want we want the second objective to start so I'm going to hit OK and for the mode I'm just going to hit set and it's already on set so just keep it on that and then the delay you can keep as zero. Okay so now what's going to happen is we're going to go to officer start and this time we're going to go to our condition. We're going to go to condition again and we're going to look for event. Now I'm going to open up the, uh, the event and the ID now the mode you can keep it on work okay and the ID you're gonna expand the box and it's gonna be the exact it's gonna be that helper event we just created so in my case it's helper objective to start so I'm gonna hit OK and select it so it's pretty much stating it can't this objective thing this objective cannot pop up until the event is called upon that's in layman's terms so, now for our command, what we want to do is simply just make the objective pop up. So, what we're going to do is go to scene, yeah, go to scene, and then scroll down. It should be the second to last, and it should be called task. Uh, give it the name, open up the drop down menu, and give it the name of your next objective. So, in this case, it will be kill officer. Uh, this time, you want to put it on show again. So make it on show so the objective pops up. Now what we're gonna do is the officer, this is now this is the actual objective to kill him. So we're gonna need some logic again. Our condition, what we're gonna need is an entity's condition. Now for future reference for you, so you guys know, if you guys are planning to do any objectives where you kill something or kill someone, you or, or kill many things, you need to do an entity's condition. Okay, so uh, open up your entities property menu, and you're going to give it the tag of the unit that we need to kill. So it is the officer. Now, for a state, we want to keep him on dead because uh, we got to state if he's dead, then the objective completes. So we got to put it that, and then the count needs to put greater than or equal to one. So meaning, just really quickly, what this means is. The officer, if he's great, if there's greater than or less than, well, greater than or equal to one, that's dead. Then the objective's complete. So, um, so when you're done with, oh, when you set up all this, you can hit OK. Now we're gonna finally just set up our last things in our commands. So hit o hit add, and we're gonna go to, um, we're gonna do a quick delay again just add in probably like a, like a few short seconds maybe I'm just gonna add in like one really quickly just so it kind of separates it so it doesn't complete it right away as soon as you kill him uh, you don't need to though that's an optional 
Um, and then finally, I'm going to go to task yet again. And I'm going to give it the name of the objective that we are focusing on. So kill officer in my case. And the state will be complete. And then hit OK. Now, let's test it. Now We should be all set. Now we can test it. Okay. So, as you can see, reach the vantage point. Obviously, we already know this works. Now, I'm going to press the O button. As you can see, the other one hasn't popped up. That's because um, in the mission properties, in the tasks, we put it as a hidden state. It hasn't been called upon yet because we haven't completed this current objective. Remember that event that we put in? This will only... You'll see it pop up in just a second. But it'll... Um, once it's called upon, then it'll pop up. So, reach this location. There you go. Well, it kind of went a little quick. I maybe should have added in a, um, in a delay. But now, as you've seen, as soon as I completed it, it has a little check mark to show that I have completed it. And as you can see, kill the German officer has appeared. And I can also go to the binoculars and also show me where he is so I can kill him. Uh, again, to figure that now... Um, it did say mission complete, but it said go. It went straight to uh, kill the German officer. That's because we didn't add a delay. We sh I should have kind of counted that in toward this video, and I'm sorry for that. You, sh if you need to, if you want to fix that, all you have to do is just add in like maybe a two or three second delay between each. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, get a good shot and kill him. So I'm just gonna move him over here. Okay, seems pretty good. Looks like he has a clear shot. Oh my god. Oh, well, ah, no, don't shoot him. Ay ay ay. Alright, hold on. Fire off my commando! There we go. <laughs> oh man. Well, there you go. As soon as I killed him, one second later it said kill the German officer, mission completed. Alright, sorry about that guys, that took a little longer than expected. Uh but yep, yeah, there you go. Um it works perfectly fine and uh yeah that's really about it so again this is a a simple objectives tutorial again i will be posting um i'll be posting advanced tutorials on objectives later on because there's so much things that i didn't really cover in this video but if i did it would have been a lot longer so i didn't want to do that um so this is just very basic on how to do the simple objectives so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys liked it favorite it you know share it if you need to all that stuff if you have any questions comments or in or concerns you know where to put them down below in the comments or on my channel facebook uh or email me if you have anything like that um and as well as check out my Steam group, I'm still having more people join in, so uh, I'm seeing that it's very nice that actually people are joining in still, so it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, guys, I'll be posting more of this hopefully soon. I have a whole entire week off, so I will be posting as much as I can during this entire week. So, um, I'll be getting to more videos like this hopefully in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.